Good morning, Simmers. How are we doing today? Derek Sims here, back with another Let's Build video. So I've seen on YouTube from a couple of people that they are building the Plum Bob House. And I thought it was the most absolute craziest thing I have ever seen. I have seen Lil Simsy do it. I have seen Vixella do it. And... Oh my goodness, there was one other person. I completely forgot who it was. Give me a hot second to think while I'm building this. Anyway, <laughs> um, with this, I wanted to put my own twist on it, especially after seeing Vixel and how she did it. She did hers a two story. I'm going to try and do it a three story. I'm gonna one you up, girl. But I probably might get rid of the third story later on <laughs> who knows at this point right oh my goodness so with the plumb bomb challenge it's not really a challenge but I want to call it a challenge because it is literally a challenge to make a house in the shape of plumb bob like plumb bob is a diamond and you're gonna have lots of weird looking walls and it, it, it's just gonna be so complicated like there's no way you're gonna easily get everything put in the house without having to add additional walls on the inside to make it work I don't know how to really explain it but yeah it mm, mm, mm. truly is not good <laughs> so as you can see I'm making the outside as green as I can even though it's not a green green it's like an aqua green which I still think it's kind of cool looking I like the color it's very soothing so I'm gonna leave it as is cuz you know why not <laughs> oh goodness see we're already having struggles with the inside walls we're having to put a little weird wonky stinking wall set inside I want it to be stairs I don't know why I didn't make the deck extend to the other end but it is what it is <laughs> oh goodness I feel like there was I can't remember there was one other person on YouTube and they did the and they did the plumb bob house. But I can't think who it was. I, just, I can think of Lil Simsy and Vixella, but I can't think of the third person. Who was it? That's still killing me. Anyway, what's killing me more than that is the fact that I'm trying to put down this kitchen and it's already going down the toilet. <laughs> It's going down the toilet so bad, this is not even funny. You all know, you all know, I love a big kitchen. However, this space is not allowing me to do such thing, which I think really sucks. Because I thought it would be so cool to have a nice big kitchen, but you know, it's not working out in the end. It's okay. I think for this video, there's gonna be times where I'm just gonna let the music play, and there's gonna be times where I jump in and just chat for a bit about what's going on with the build. I'll probably be hopping off in a hot minute, and I'll just let the music take over. So we're trying to have an adequate amount of cabinet space in this kitchen. As you can see, we don't have much space for cabinetry, and you can see I'm starting to struggle with the island. I want to put the stove in the island and have the island be like a two or three seater, four seater if it comes to that kind of thing. And I'm just, I'm not having a good time with this. Like, I'm not vibing with it. Like, don't get me wrong, I think it looks great, but I'm just not vibing with what the heck I'm trying to do for this house. So, I'm gonna shut up and let the music play and I will be back to chat when I'm more concentrated 
on chatting. They took us somewhere, so what they say we're calling for. We're not a lion, they don't know the truth of us. I'm colorblind, yeah. Cozy little. The fireplace makes it more cozy. And I mean little because all we have is a coffee table and a couch and a rug. That is all we got. Oh, and a TV, if I remember correctly. Either way, comfy little space. <laughs> For now, we are building the guest bathroom. And I keep, I don't know why I keep calling it the guest bathroom. It's not like we have two bedrooms in this house. It's going to be a one bed, one bath with a half bath downstairs for visitors. So I guess that's why we call it the guest bath. Literally, it's just going to be this little corner space with a toilet and a sink. I don't know if I'm going to put a cabinet in there or not. I'm probably not going to, but you know, it's a thought that counts, right? So thinking ahead. I'm just trying to make sure like all the rooms tie together and whatnot. I like it. I like what I'm doing so far. I think the first floor here is perfect the way it is. It just looks really spacious, honestly. As you can see, I got the two-seater at the island. The stove is in the island. Now we're just gonna be adding some willy-nilly plants to tie the space more together. And I was right, yeah, I put a TV by the fireplace. So, little things here and there, especially in plants. Like, I have been more obsessed about adding plants to the inside of my builds more and more because it's just an aesthetic, you know? Like, it's a pretty aesthetic. It just ties everything together. Even on top of the fridge. I don't know why on top of the fridge, but it's on top of the fridge. We're gonna go with it because it's on top of the fridge. Out of sight, out of mind, but it's pretty. You know what? So, back to my comment about trying to make everything look like clump up green. So, most of the rooms, if not all, are gonna be some short, some short, some sort of green coloring. As you can see, I'm thinking about changing the exterior wall color from what it is, but I think, honestly, I'll just leave it as is, because that honestly is a pretty color, and I don't really want to change it. I don't have the exact Plum Bob green color, but you know what? This will work just fine. So, my thing is for Plum Bob challenge, green walls and green flooring of some sort. I know that sounds crazy, but you know. Even you can see the front and the back has green railings and green fencing and green stairs. I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this. How do I want the green flooring to be put out? Half carpet, half wood. And yes, that is green wood. Now we come upstairs. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? You can already see I'm pre-planning for the third story. But the more I get into thinking about what to put in the third story, I don't think I want to put anything in the third story. So pretty soon you might see me delete it. Because frankly, I don't know if I'm going to put anything above where I'm building right now. So stay tuned. And with that, we are continuing the build of the green from the downstairs into the upstairs hallway. We are putting together the master bedroom with the master bathroom offset. And this is gonna be a little tricky. So I'm gonna stop talking for a couple minutes and we'll focus on the build and we'll resume talking again when I feel more relaxed to say something. Every moment that I spend with you, with you. Won't you take me home and give me wings to fly? We 
the bedroom so we're gonna go just a hue lighter if you will I think it's a hue lighter yeah it looks like it's a hue lighter and the wallpaper is the same as the downstairs the flooring matches just like the downstairs the only difference upstairs from downstairs is the hallway carpeting it changed the design of the carpet to not match what's downstairs because I want everything to be a little different you know like it'd be kind of silly to have everything match and I say that as I match the bathroom walls and the flooring and the living room and the, it, you, you get my drift. It, it, it just seems silly. But here we are with the plants yet again, doing some little key final touches. And voila, we have plant. <laughs> I feel like you guys should just gift me plants. You know, like if you were to ever see me in real life or anything, a welcome gift to be like hi nice to meet you i know how much you love putting plants in your sims creations so i got you a fake plant and honestly that would make my day except i have nowhere in my apartment to put any more fake plants uh <laughs> i mean i got some in my windows and i got some art of it but like i have no other space to put a fake plant in my apartment <sighs> so as you saw earlier i had to rearrange the bed the bed is now where the deck door was and now the deck door is near the corner and and remember how I mentioned I was gonna get rid of the third floor yep you can see I got rid of the third floor I carefully thought it over and I really wanted to up one Vixella but I'm not really getting any good ideas for a third floor I suppose I could have made a children's bedroom but I couldn't I also suppose I could have tried to do a janky roof, but as you can see, I give up. <laughs> that roof was not happening, honey. Like, there's no way. There's no way you can get a roof on this. You'd have to do a flat garden roof. It just would not work. And I don't mean flat garden, I just mean a flat roof. So now we're gonna focus on finishing the exterior. So with that, I'm gonna focus on creating the backyard once more. I will be going silent and I will hop back in when I feel the time is right. Oh, 
going to be real honest with you guys. Like, real honest. I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I'm not sure how I feel about the double bushes that I'm doing. I might make a third row in the middle and make it look like it fits. But even that just looks so stupid. So I'm going to leave the bushes as it is. But other than that, how do we feel about gardening, ladies? And gentle gays and fellow simoleons and all nine non-binary humans that we all love and adore because every human is important just as colorful and vibrant as this garden that i'm trying to put together um <laughs> oh goodness gardening has become a challenge on sims creating and i've been trying to get more and more involved with creating gardens in each of my builds. I feel like I'm successing, successing, succeeding in that, but I don't know if I truly am or not. If you think I am, let me know in the comments and that'll make me a day to know that I'm trying to actually do good with the gardening. Cause honestly, that's like one of the most struggling things about creating a house is the gardening. I mean, even look at this. I don't really put any flowers or anything under trees. I think I did rocks under it once or twice in an old video. But now I'm adding like flower garden weeds under the tree. It honestly looks aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, I don't know how I feel about it. But we're just going to leave it. So, as you can see, little final touches. We're not going to really add much to the backyard because... I want to keep it nice, clean, and open for anybody that wants to download this house for the simoleon, which is up now in the gallery, by the way. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. Um, I do want to add, like, a few little things in the yard, like a bike and, you know, one little activity, like horseshoes. Where am I going to put it? Yeah, that works. Maybe a bird bath, bird feed or something. There we go. That arch, I was debating on doing an arch. Like, I thought it would look cute, but I don't like the fact that it's a wedding arch, but it just looks weird there. Uh, gotta add some lights. We need to see at night. And we need some garden lights because it'll light up the little pretty garden. Because we want to see how pretty our flowers are at night. Um, so, yeah, pretty much this is me putting on its exterior lights and uploading to the gallery. So this house is a one bed, one and a half bath house. It is the Plum Bob house. And this was by far one of the most challenging builds I have done yet. It only took an hour and a half to build. And this makes me glad that I was sick last night, did not go to work to do it because this took a lot of my energy. Like I was already suffering from fatigue, but this oh by golly that's big but yeah this challenge why do i keep calling this a challenge this build took all energy i had left last night so this makes me really fortunate that i did not go into work last night instead i played sims because who doesn't like playing sims when they're sick honestly probably a lot of people but i'm one of those that is like i want to do something i'm sick let's have fun and then they forget why they're sick <laughs> Oh, goodness, I'm a fool, aren't I? So, something I was thinking about doing, but I tried it and I didn't like how it looked, was adding, like, a garden on the edge of the roof. You know, like, have flowers hang over the edge of the roof. But I'm not really liking what I'm thinking. Like, I know what I'm thinking in my head, but executing that idea, see? Like, it just looks weird. So... Instead, we're just gonna add little window boxes of flowers. Because why not? That's a little big, don't you think? Yeah, let's shrink it. I love my BB Move Objects cheat. Anyway, with that being said, this is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and jamming out to some really nice music. Provided by no copyright sounds as always, because we love sponsoring fellow youtubers that do good content so with that being said this house is up now in the gallery the plum buff house one bed one and a half bath two story empty backyard perfect for a pet or a growing family and i truly hope you guys enjoyed watching this um 
I really don't know what else to say except happy Tuesday and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you guys later.